Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Tuesday, August 30th. Tesla is facing a new proposed class action lawsuit over the phantom braking problem that's been plaguing autopilot for years. This last spring, the NHTSA actually opened an investigation into the matter, however now it's going to be attacked from a different side. Jose Alvarez Toledo, a Model 3 owner in San Francisco, has filed a lawsuit with the state which is seeking to represent all Tesla owners with autopilot in federal court in the Northern District of California. The lawsuit reads in part, quote, When the sudden unintended braking defect occurs, they turn what is supposed to be a safety feature into a frightening and dangerous nightmare. Now, the lawsuit is seeking both compensatory and punitive damages for expenses to repair vehicles, diminished value of Tesla cars, and a refund of the added cost attributed to the autopilot feature. Tesla shared some rare and stunning images of the internal vehicle testing, this time for extreme heat and durability being performed in Dubai. The automaker appears to have brought its full lineup of electric vehicles, although the Model Y seems to be getting special attention. They brought them to the arid sand dunes, complete with adjacent camel in the photos. Tesla killed two birds with one stone in this trip, as they both tested for the extreme heat and also got some pretty good shots to use in marketing. The automaker has recently made several updates to its vehicles that will likely warrant new testing for durability, including the new refreshed Model X and also the Model 3 with the lithium iron phosphate cells. But, of course, the Model Y took center stage with much presence, and several new versions of that vehicle could be tested. In a drone flyover of Gigafactory Texas campus, it shows that a new building will house Tesla's battery cathode factory, and it's already coming together. Obviously, it's not as big as the main Gigafactory at Texas, which is one of the biggest in the world, but it is still quite large for this building, with three stories for the sole purpose of producing cathode material. Two years ago, Tesla unveiled the new chemistry that allows for much more simpler and cheaper production, including this new cathode. While this is Tesla's first factory for just this material, the automaker is expected to invest in several more once it has managed to hone its new production process. Tesla has been spotted stacking an impressive number of structural battery packs of inventory at Gigafactory Texas. That same drone flyover video also shows that there is a steady stream of Model Y vehicles coming out, but all of those could be equipped with the older 2170 cells. Tesla is believed to be getting a limited supply of the new 4680 battery cell that's needed for the structural battery pack, and all of those are coming from the pilot plant in Fremont. The recent run of vehicles that have been leaving Gigafactory Texas have that older cell, which is only a temporary solution when the newer cell will be made in mass. Perhaps this is an indication that they are inching towards that reality already. Just two weeks after President Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act, which is also known as a climate bill, global automakers have been racing to source and assemble electric vehicle components in the U.S. Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Honda, and Hyundai have all announced deals after the bill was signed. President Biden set a goal for the U.S. to achieve a 50% EV share of total car sales by the year 2030. Getting there will take investments both from the government and also from automakers. So far, the climate bill is doing exactly as it has designed, at least on certain ends of the EV market. Other automakers, like Rivian or Lucid, have been effectively priced out of the tax credit for their customers, as they don't sell vehicles that fall below a certain price threshold. In another move, BMW made a specific model to qualify for that same tax credit, also sliding below the threshold. As we roll along in the third quarter of 2022, General Motors' long-promised EV lineup is going to materialize. Promise. While General Motors made unprecedented investments in electric vehicles at most every level, it has been rather fun to tease them earlier in the year when they had no electric cars for sale. Of course, that has changed, starting with the GMC Hummer EV, but more are coming. According to General Motors CEO Mary Barra, one of the two previously announced U.S. battery factories will open in a matter of weeks, coming in Ohio. This will allow General Motors to ramp up production of even more EVs, such as the upcoming Chevy Silverado, upcoming Blazer EV, and upcoming Equinox compact SUV. It sounds pretty good, but we can't ignore the elephant in the room. General Motors will need all the production capacity they can get to catch up with Tesla, 
who has delivered nearly 255,000 EVs for the second quarter. In comparison, GM delivered about 7,200 in the same period. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Gil Adamowski says, MG, great show. Thanks, Gil, and thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.